Science Art Academy! Research written, performed, and edited by the students from the Nueva School. It's glycolysis in all your cells to get energy. Uh, need it in every cell. Make that, make that, a, a, a t p glyco. Greens. ATP up Puffins. in your cells so you live life. Glucose got six carbon plus energy into ATP. We'll turn it, spend that money to make money. Phosphate sticky like their honey. And next kinase is what slaps it onto all the glucose. That's what traps it. Add another ATP for phosphate. Turn into fructose, six bis phosphate. Now that we've spent two ATP, move on to phase two so we can cleave, cleave, cleave. Phase one is where you spend. Now it's gonna pay dividends. Now move on to phase two, might amaze you. Cleave it into three C units, but one's different. Must be salvaged, two G, three Ps, now they're ready. Glad we saved it, there's no wasting. Each contains three carbons waiting to convert their energy to ATP once they're in phase three. Phase two's where you cleave. Half carbon, six to three. No energy has yet to be extracted into packets. Couple oxidation of G3Ps with phosphorylation so that G3P is oxidized by NAD+. Watch these linkages get rearranged to harvest one ATP, yay we. After rearranging these, get one more ATP. That's two per G3P, now glycolysis complete. Since phase two in which we cleave, this happens twice, I'm so relieved. Harvest four triphosphates, spent two, so made two net ATPs. Two ATPs! Phase three's harvesting. And we get four ATPs. Hey, yo. All cells got that glyco after 10 steps left with pyru. Some decide to slide it all the way to mitocitric acid cycle. ETC cranks out so much ATP, but some cells rely solely on G like syndromes or your muscle cells when sprinting So they cycle. ferment. Glycolysis never ends. Even without oxygen.